Hey, Star Trek fans, Dan Gunther here with some exciting new casting news from Star Trek Discovery. A little late with this video, but I just got back after a very busy weekend to this news, so let's get right to it. First of all, we have the casting of Rekha Sharma as Commander Landry, the security officer of the USS Discovery. Fans might know her from roles on Battlestar Galactica and The 100. Claire McConnell will star as Dennis, a leader in the Klingon Empire. She's been in a number of projects before, most notably Dim the Fluorescence, a film that is slated for release this fall. We have another Klingon, played by Damon Runyon, who will be playing Ujili, or Ujili, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but he is also a leader in the Klingon Empire. He's been in several television shows before, such as Gangland Undercover, Suits, and Supernatural. Now we also have Kenneth Mitchell, who has been cast as Cole, a commanding officer in the Klingon Empire. He's been on television shows such as Jericho, Frequency, and the Astronaut Wives Club. Now if that name Cole is familiar, it may be because you remember Shazad Latif being cast in that role. Shazad will still star on Star Trek Discovery, but he has been recast in a different role. He will be starring as Lieutenant Tyler, a Starfleet officer. It's not listed here whether he will be on the Discovery or the Shenzhou or some other ship or base, just that he is a Federation officer. Now, the reason for recasting him out of the Klingon role hasn't been revealed. However, there are some interesting theories going around on the internet. One of them that makes the most sense to me is it's possible he had some sort of reaction to the makeup that would be used to create the Klingon character. This is not unprecedented. There have been actors in the past that just can't deal with the makeup or have an allergic reaction or something like that. And also recasting an actor after they've already been cast in a particular role is not unheard of as well. You may remember that Genevieve Bujold was originally cast in the role of Captain Janeway on Star Trek Voyager. And about half of the pilot episode had been filmed with her in that role before she left the show and the role was given to Kate Mulgrew. Also famously, Courtney Cox and I believe Jennifer Aniston were both cast in each other's roles of Rachel and Monica before they were flipped after production on the series Friends began. So with four new names being added to the cast and Shazad Latif's role being changed, I thought it might be a good idea to do a quick overview of what we know about the cast of Star Trek Discovery to this point. We certainly have a lot of names and faces here, so let's just do a quick overview of what we have so far. As far as Starfleet officers go, the crew of the USS Discovery is as follows. We have Jason Isaacs playing Captain Lorca, the commanding officer of the Discovery. Sonequa Martin-Green, who is of course playing the main character of Star Trek Discovery, First Officer Michael Burnham. We have Doug Jones playing a new alien, a science officer by the name of Lieutenant Saru. We have the newly announced Rekha Sharma playing the security officer of the USS Discovery, Commander Landry. Anthony Rapp stars as Lieutenant Stamets, a science officer and astromycologist on the Discovery. Astromycologist, basically an expert in alien fungus. Really curious to see how that figures into the story. And rounding out the Discovery crew, we have Mary Wiseman as Cadet Tilly, a cadet in her final year at Starfleet Academy. As far as the USS Shenzhou goes, we have Michelle Yeoh playing Captain Georgiou, the commanding officer. Malik Pancholi plays Chief Medical Officer Nambu, and Sam Vartholomios plays Ensign Connor, a junior officer aboard the Shenzhou. Two more Federation officers have been mentioned. No word as to their specific posting. Terry Serpico plays as Admiral Anderson, presumably the senior officer in charge of the sector, maybe, for the Discovery in the Shenzhou or something like that. And of course, as we learned with this latest batch of casting news, Shazad Latif's new role, Lieutenant Tyler, only listed as a Starfleet officer, not said which ship he is on. However, there was a Lieutenant Tyler at this time in Star Trek history. We know of Lieutenant Jose Tyler of the USS Enterprise under the command of Captain Pike, as seen in the first Star Trek pilot episode, The Cage. So I'm wondering, is this maybe that character? There is nothing other than the name to make me think that that might be the case, and of course the fact that they don't say what ship he's on. It's just an idle thought. 
may be right, may be wrong, but it would be really interesting to see if that is the case. As far as cast goes, we also have several Klingon roles. We have Chris Obi starring as Takuvma, a Klingon leader. We have the newly announced Damon Runyon as Ujili, or Ujili, a leader in the Klingon Empire, and Claire McConnell as Denas, another leader in the Klingon Empire. Kenneth Mitchell as Cole, a Klingon commanding officer. Again, this role was Shazad Latif's, but Kenneth Mitchell has been cast in that role instead. And Mary Chiefo, who is listed as a battle deck commander. Now, besides Starfleet personnel and Klingons, we do also have two more cast members that have been mentioned. James Frain as Sarek, famous as Spock's father and an ambassador in the Federation. We don't know at this point if he is an ambassador yet or if Sarek has some other role that he's filling. And we have Rain Wilson cast as Harcourt Fenton Mudd, Harry Mudd, taking over the role from Roger C. Carmel as he played him in the original series in the episodes Mudd's Women and I, Mudd, as well as the animated series episode Mudd's Passion. All right, so that's where we stand right now with the Star Trek Discovery cast. I can't imagine they'll be adding many more names to this list. This is already a, a huge list of names. Really interested now in possibly finding out some parts of the story or the overall arc of the series as we move into spring and into summer, as we get closer to that hopefully soon release date for Star Trek Discovery. Rest assured, as soon as any new news is learned about Discovery, I will be bringing it to you. In the meantime, like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe for more Star Trek news and reviews. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit. Links are all in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Live long and prosper.